It's time to finally reveal our new household budget plan. Ta-da! This is so exciting! Wendy, 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 you're so amazing! I totally stole that from Moana. Seriously, Wendy, you're getting excited over a bunch of numbers on paper? It's just a household budget, girl. Seriously, we are revealing our new and improved household budget plan, all based on percentages, trying to keep all of our numbers under the recommended percentage so we can pay off our debt as quickly as possible. So you are going to see that our new categories are all based off recommended budget percentages. Check this out. So we have housing at 25 to 35%, utilities at 5 to 10%, food at 10 to 15%, transportation at 10 to 15%, insurance and tax at 10 to 15%, health at 5 to 10%, savings at 10 to 15%, lifestyle. I don't like lifestyle category. At 15 to 25%. And then, of course, giving at 10 to 15 percent. But I don't talk about giving on my channel because I think that's a personal choice. So what we give is what we give and we don't discuss it. So that's that. But 10 to 15 percent for giving. So the first one is our housing. We are setting at 2 percent, which is way under the 25 percent. But we don't have a house payment. So the only thing we have in our housing category is our storage unit. And I put it in there because that's where all our stuff is. The stuff that would normally be in a house that if we had a house. So it's kind of like a house, but with no power. And although it does have air conditioning. In our utilities category, which is supposed to be 5 to 10%, we have it set at 2. And in our utilities category, we have our cell phones at 2, 15, 14, and our Skype at $25. In our food category, which is currently residing at 4%, we have our groceries at $580. Turkey Day at Molina School for $15 and School Bucks for $40. And School Bucks is Molina's lunches at school. So you can see this is where the categories start shifting around because normally School Bucks and Turkey Day would be in the Molina category, but they involve food. So therefore they are now in the food category. And in a, the transportation category, which is supposed to be 10 to 15%, Ours is currently residing at 1%, but I will tell you, I did not move our car payment over to this because I think that is better suited with the debt. Now, if we were saving for a car down the road or we have car maintenance, it should be in this category, I think. I also have, would we'll put that in the savings category, so that's a personal choice. I am not putting it here, I'm putting it somewhere else. We have $100 for gas, $70 for an easy pass, $40 for a Virginia state inspection, and nothing to rotate in our line our tires. Even though we're getting it done this month, I talked about this in a previous video where we actually put rotating and aligning our tires into the budget, even though it doesn't cost us anything to remind us to do it because we got it with a warranty on the tires that we actually purchased. In the insurance and tax category, which is supposed to be 10 to 15%, ours is 2%. And in the insurance and tax category, we have 183.50 going to car and renter's insurance, which is bundled together through USAA. We have my life insurance, which is 91.65, CMFG life insurance, which is $12, and Xander life insurance, which is $35.83. And just to let you know, some of you had mentioned that my life insurance is really expensive, and it is a 30-year policy. I actually called USAA and discussed it with them because I thought it was high compared to Mauricio's. It's extremely high. I thought it was high and I wanted to know how we could bring that down. And actually they told me that I was in a fantastic health category. And the reason it was so high is because I am covered through 72. And you know, the older you get, the more expensive it is. The Mauricio's is only a 20 year policy. And in the health category, which is supposed to be five to 10%, ours is sitting at a whopping 6%. 
And truthfully, that is because Melina goes to a specialist that doesn't take our insurance. They don't bill insurance. They take our insurance. They just don't bill it. And our insurance covers it. So we have to pay out of pocket and then get reimbursed. We have to file a claim after we go. It's super easy. No big deal. But we have to pay out of pocket. So that is the reason this is so high right now. So in the savings category, which is supposed to be 10 to 15% of your income, we are actually saving 12% of our income. It will be significantly lower once we go to Columbia, but for now we are saving $1,000 a month to go down to Columbia to visit Mauricio's parents. And so let's go over the savings. We have the $1,000 every month for a trip down to Columbia because that's expensive. We save $200 every month for Molina's summer camp. We will eventually be trying to up that so we don't have to cash flow it at all. But for right now, $200 gets us pretty close. We save $150 for medical expenses, and that is mostly the deductible at the beginning of the year is $750 for us. The car repair replace fund is $100 every month. The Christmas fund is $100 every month. The emergency trip to Columbia is $100 every month. And yes, I know I have a trip to Columbia and an emergency trip to Columbia. The emergency trip to Columbia is actually us saving up should something happen to someone in Mauricio's family and we need to go down there at a last minute expense. I think we're going to set that right around at $6,000. That sinking fund is only while we're in baby step two because that trip is a trip we absolutely would make, but it would absolutely decimate us financially if it happened and we didn't have money saved for it. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna save up $6,000 and then we're just gonna let it sit there. And it's just gonna sit there and in case someday we need it, it'll be there. And then once we're out of paying off debt, that money will actually just go straight towards our fully funded emergency fund because that's what a fully funded emergency fund is for those kind of emergencies. We put $50 every month towards miscellaneous school expenses for Molina. And mostly those are at the beginning of the school year when we just start hemorrhaging money for this and that and PTO expenses and field trip expenses and this expense and that expense. And it's a lot of money at the beginning of the year. So that just helps out with that. And then this month we are not putting any money to our emergency fund at all because it's already there. In the lifestyle category, we have actually broken the lifestyle category down to subcategories, which are similar to the categories that we used to do. And lifestyle is between 15 and 25% of your income. And some of these categories, as I said, I don't think should be lifestyle. I think there should be a separate category for childcare because Two parents working in this area is not a lifestyle choice. It's a requirement. You have to, I, I know very few families that, that there are not two parents working. And so childcare is a requirement for us. And our schedules are not such that we can work shifts where I take Melina to school and Mauricio picks her up. We basically both need to be at work at the same time and leave the same time every day. So yeah, childcare, not an option. And our lifestyle category, if you can believe it, is actually under the recommended 15% minimum at 14%. Woo so in the lifestyle category, the first section, we have personal and recreation. So we have our $100 for Amazon in there because we're going to spend it. I'm going to spend it. It's the truth. So I am gonna buy stuff, so I might as well put it in the budget. We have $30 and 90 nicks, 90 nicks, $30 and 90, 90, why can I not say that? We have $30 and 96 cents for iTunes, which include Netflix, Apple Music, iCloud, Amazon Music. We have $14.95 for Audible every month, which is my book club book. We have $3.99 for Amazon Music. So under Melina in the lifestyle category, we have before and after care at $608, swimming lessons at $90, Spanish classes at $280, miscellaneous school expenses at $25, the book fair for $30, and this month is school pictures. So $50 for school pictures. Then in our cash category, which we also put under lifestyle, we have $20 for the dry cleaner, 
$200 for Blow Money, $35 for Haircut from Mauricio, $40 at Sally Beauty Supply, and $100 for Random Family Fun Outing. In my YouTube category, which is also considered lifestyle, we have $450 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $9 for Morning Fame, $19.95 for a YouTube group I belong to. And then also in the lifestyle category, we have work expenses, which include $22 for parking for Mauricio should we drive separately to work. And in the last section, we have $100 in our budget for cushion because we will run out of money, go over budget, do something that we're not supposed to. So we pad the budget an extra $100 every month just in case. So then this month we will be putting 40% of our income to debt at $5,852. So a little bit lower than what we usually put to debt, but it is the beginning of the month and what you don't see in here is the Christmas budget, which I will be doing a whole video on. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Crap.